Hello again from Sheffield, where we continue our, our journey through the little book of James. And we've been looking at this big theme about how our, our words and our actions need to line up and how our faith isn't just what we talk about, it's what we do. So James has been hammering this point home for a couple of chapters now about how we live our lives uh, practically to serve people and love people. So it could be tempting to think that actually James is really only concerned about what we do. Well, no, he's not. He's also concerned about what we say. He just wants them to line up. So today, this whole chapter is pretty much about what we say. It's about our tongue. And uh, James begins this chapter thinking about the tongue. Now, we all have one, and we know it's a tiny little part of our body, but we know it's a little part of our body that can cause a big pile of problems. We can say the wrong thing. We can open our mouth and stick our feet in it. We can, you know, um, we can hurt people with our words. And there's this nonsense, you know, sticks and stones will break your bones and names will never hurt you. That's complete claptrap. Our tongues have the power to speak life over people or death over people. And James knows that. So he uses a number of, an, of images to help us think about little tiny things that make big differences. Like a little bit in a horse's mouth can be used to control a whole horse. A little rudder on the back of a ship can steer a huge ocean liner. A little spark can light an entire forest fire. So James is challenging us to get our actions right. Yes, of course. But he's also challenging us to use our tongues properly. He says um, uh, in verses 9 and 10, How can it be right that our tongues can praise God one minute and slag somebody off the next? Now you and I know that happens all the time. So today James is challenging us to pray really hard that God would change what we say. That our words would glorify Jesus. That the words we speak over other people would bring them life and not pain. I remember telling my youth group when I was a youth leader that your words are a bit like toothpaste in a tube. You can squeeze toothpaste out of a tube, but it's a really difficult job. In fact, it's pretty impossible to get the toothpaste back in the tube. Once you've said something, you can't unsay it. You can say sorry and you can, people can forgive you, but you can't unsay what was said. So James challenges us to think before we speak and to use our words to glorify Jesus and to bless other people. So take a moment today, just right now, to pray that today all that you say with your mouth would glorify Jesus and bless other people. Have a great day. God bless you.